Hey, have you ever wondered where trees come from or how they got here? Stay tuned, because on this week's show, we're going to show you where trees really come from. Everybody seems to love trees as long as they're big and they're tall and they're straight. But what about baby trees? Yeah, Georgia, what about baby trees? We all seem to love baby animals, puppies and kitties and chicks and things like yeah. that. But few people seem to get all warm and fuzzy over baby trees. And yeah. you know, Georgia, what does a baby tree look like anyway? Well, I'm guessing they're a little smaller. This is what baby trees look like. They come in different shapes and sizes, and they all grow at different rates and in different soils. You probably know that baby trees come from seeds, but they also come from the root systems of parent trees. All trees have flowers, fruits, and seeds. Well, okay, technically the evergreens don't have what scientists call flowers, but they do have all of the right male and female parts. And fruits are not always the edible kind, like apples, oranges, and walnuts. A fruit is a part of a plant that holds the seeds. A seed is the part that, given the right conditions, becomes a baby tree. Fruits and seeds have a bunch of different design features. Some use wind to get their seeds around. Have you ever played with maple helicopters or seen the snow of cottonwood seeds? And some fruits are made to be eaten by birds or mammals. Those seeds are, well, pooped out somewhere else. Berries are really good examples of this, like mulberry, hackberry, or sugarberry trees. Squirrels hide away a lot of nuts, some of which become trees in new locations. It's usually a good idea for trees to try and get their seeds someplace other than right under the parent tree. And that's a little bit about seeds. You know, when you think about it, Reproduction boils down to just one thing, transferring genetic information. But when we talk about trees, we talk about regeneration. And any sort of activity that foresters do comes down to worrying about the baby trees first. Foresters are passionate about baby trees. Aww. All trees have flowers and fruits. But trees can also reproduce using sprouts from the stump. And here we've got a good example of an oak tree in the aftermath of a fire that has sprouted back from the stump. And these stumps throughout the whole area will create a new forest for the future. Aspens provide seeds too, but that's not the way they reproduce best. They are experts at sending out shoots that we call root suckers. And they can have 10 to 20,000 or more per acre, like this one here. What do they look like? Oh, there. This is an aspen sucker that comes from the roots of the tree. And so you can get lots of these, many more than just by seeds and fruits. The most important factor for growth and survival is light. Some baby trees need full sunlight in order to survive. Shade will cause them to wither and die. Trees such as aspens, red pine, jack pine, and paper birch are a few of the more sun-loving species. Some tree species can grow under different amounts of shade, even shady conditions like we have here. In fact, some species actually prefer those shadier conditions that are cooler and moister. So how do foresters help regenerate forests? That's a great question, Georgia. There's a science foresters use to help a forest regenerate. It's called silviculture, and it involves cutting down trees to help regeneration. How many trees are cut down depends on the type of tree and the amount of sun or shade that's best for that tree species to grow. In the northern forests of the lake states, we harvest trees to encourage the growth of baby trees. We clear cut aspen to stimulate root suckers and give those baby trees all the light that they need to grow. In certain kinds of oak stands, we'll harvest the trees in two or three cuts. The idea there is to provide some nurse shade for the new oak trees, the baby trees that grow underneath. 
Now it's important to harvest trees, not only for the wood products, but it's also important to make sure that we get the regeneration we're hoping to have. Foresters harvest small groups of trees in a forest to provide the light needed for baby sugar maples to grow and mature. Sugar maples like these can survive as baby trees under shady conditions. However, they'll only become grown-up trees, grown to saplings, if they have more light. We all need forest for things like wood and, and wildlife and clean water. That's really important. And places to play. We can hunt and we can fish and we can bike and all sorts of other activities. That's why forest regeneration is so incredibly important and one of the coolest things that foresters do. And we've been doing it successfully for over, over a century. century.